Village of Morrow in Warren County will pay $600,000 to end a lawsuit filed by a former worker. Tim Irwin, a longtime Public Works employee, says he was harassed and bullied by village officials who eventually fired him in 2015. WCPO 9 I team reporter Paula Christian has been following this case since July. I was treated very badly. Tim Irwin has lived in Morrow, which has 2,000 residents all of his life. He got a job with the village in 2003, mowing grass, plowing snow, and picking up trash. I had planned on um, retiring there. I really enjoyed the job, the people. But that changed in 2012 when Irwin says a political fight between his brother, who was mayor at the time, and others on village council got ugly. Irwin says a former council member and village employee began harassing and stalking him, including using billboards and social media posts to make fun of him publicly. That's really what he was dealing with, a bunch of bullies. Jim Whitaker is Irwin's attorney. He filed a federal lawsuit after the village fired Irwin in 2015. Attorneys for the village did not respond to a request for comment. This is bullet holes that struck Irwin's home in early 2021, a few months before trial. He says he never saw who fired the gun, but says he has his suspicions. You have to treat a human being with dignity, respect, and you have to follow the law. And if you don't want to do that, you're going to get a verdict against you. The case went to trial in May, and the jury sided with Irwin, awarding him $1.1 million. They ruled that village officials had unlawfully fired him and intentionally inflicted atrocious and utterly intolerable emotional distress. Afterwards, Whitaker worried the village didn't have the money to pay. Then attorneys for the village asked a judge to overturn the verdict and to reduce the payout. After going back to court to argue over that money, both sides reached a settlement last month. The village will pay $600,000 to Irwin for his attorney's fees and damages. I received this settlement agreement through a public records request I made to the village. It contains a confidentiality clause which prevents Irwin from commenting. So the interviews you saw for this story were from last summer. Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I team.